Hey YouTube, welcome back to uh, another episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. Um, today is going to be a little bit, a little bit, um, you know, something a little bit different, but it's regarding my mental health series, my mental health series. Um, so today, I just wanted to look at some of the, you know, happiest video games uh, that you can ever play to make yourself recover. Um, so that's so that's the uh, that's the dilemma here. Um, so what? So the question is, what game has made me more happy than you know? You know, spring has sprung, the sun is out. You're you know playing on your switch, and you know what do you need to play to make yourself happy and all that stuff. So that's so that's the thing um, that I'll be. That'll be discovering in this uh, in this uh, episode today. So, what are some of the uh, happiest video games uh, for you know boys, girls, uh, anything that makes you happy and all that stuff? Uh, but these are all but these are all Nintendo based and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, so I just wanted to let you. I just want to let you know about this list and all that stuff and what my personal opinion is. Um, so, uh, yeah, and these games are price ranging from fun and all that stuff to, you know. Uh, so the good question is, what makes you happy when you're playing a video game and all that stuff? Is it the character? Is it the characters that you meet? Is it the charm of the game? Is it the storyline of the game? Is it probably the combat of the game? Uh, I know I only know one game that involves combat in a really fun and happy way, and all that stuff. So uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, so let's get on with this list. And uh, so uh, yeah. So these are probably the top, the top. Uh, happiest games that I can come up with so uh let's get on with the review so let's get on with uh the list so um regarding if a game is happy or not you know happy so what's the key thing a game has to have this one element of happiness in a section of the game whether it's an open world whether it's the character or some sort of so some sort of reason to make it onto this list. So uh so yeah. So what are the most happiest video games that you can ever play, YouTubers? That's what we'll answer in this episode. That's why I will try to answer in this episode as as you know as much as I can. So um so yeah. So anyways, let's get on with the list and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, um, when I was recovering from, um, when I was re recovering from a, uh, you know, from my, you know, one of my, one of my mental, one of my mental breakdowns, um, you know, this game actually helped me, you know, get better in some ways. And uh, this game has charm. This game has it's uh, it's all cartoony, and it's HD. It's HD, and it's HD. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, and it's for the Wii U and all that stuff. And uh, so, this game is also well, this game was also for the GameCube, but it actually came out on the Wii U. If you didn't know, and uh, you know my. My brother, my brother, um, my brother Ian from Print Shop McCall uh, owns this game. Um, so I, I'm actually very, very, I was actually really, really happy that he owned this because, uh, you know, this game was one of my first recovery games. And that is uh, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD is a charming um, cartoony, um, you know, way of looking at Zelda and all that stuff. So, um, about the Legend of Zelda series. 
The Legend of Zelda series, um, Wind Waker, uh, the Wind Waker HD port is just a fantastic port. Um, you're sailing around on the open seas. Link, Link is just cute. He's just, he's just, Link is just cute in that version. Um, so he's just cute. He's just adorable. Me and Chris thinks he's adorable and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I think Amelia, I think Amelia will appreciate, um, you know, Toon Link as, you know, she plays the game someday on the Wii U and all that stuff. So at my, at my business. So I hope she, you know, I hope she put, appreciates the look at it because he's the cutest, you know, little link or something like that the he's the cutest young link that we ever gotten on the gamecube and the wii u um and uh he's just yeah he's just he's just adorable to look at he's just he's just adorable to look, to look at so i might get a i might get an amiibo of him um so uh yeah so and and uh tune and tune zelda is pretty pretty cute too so she's a pretty cute princess and all that stuff for in that in that version um so yeah so it's cartoony world it's you know i think it's it's cartoony world and it's you know uh cartoony looks and it's cartoony world make it onto this list very well um and uh you know the companions that you meet on the way are very cartoony and all that stuff, um, and, uh, you know, Tetra, the pirate, um, is, is pretty, is pretty cool, too, uh, to look at, you know, you know, to look at her, but, you know, um, but yeah, it's, it's charm, it's characters, everything that just makes you scream happiness right out, right out of the gate, as soon as you plop the disc in on your GameCube or on your Wii U, it's just fantastic, so, uh, yeah, so so the next game on our list is a bit of a it's been a it's a party game. It's a party game that you play with friends, and I think this is one of the best series of board games that I've ever played on with my girlfriend, and we always have fun. We always have fun, no matter who wins across the board and that is Mario Party. Mario Party will just, you know, it's uh it's it's happiness that you get from playing with your friends on these boards. Now, you can get really mad for someone for stealing your star on Mario Party 6 or something like, or something like that uh or Mario Party 3 or Mario Party 2. Um, but they're just, they're just such fun games, uh, and they're silly. They're just silly. One way, one, in, in one mini game, you'll be bouncing, you'll be bouncing each other off a cliff with using bouncy balls and all that stuff. It's like, oh, <laughs> so yeah. So, um, it's always fun to beat Wario at a mini game and it's like, and then, and then he's all like, Oh, I missed. <laughs> so yeah, it's like oh my gosh. So it's really really funny. Um, so yeah, that game, that series is just it's just so much fun, and it'll create like happy moments or bad moments depending on which game you play. I recommend Mario Party Two, Mario Party Three, and Mario Party Six, and Mario Party Eight. First, before you play Super Mario Party and all that stuff for the Switch. Um, but yeah, this game is really, really fun. It'll create some laughs um, with your friends. And it'll just create this general happiness within your within yourself as you're playing through with, fl with friends and making jokes. And sometimes, um, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes like e older adults will just drink at a party and just try to survive around a Mario party. But, you know, um, it's, it's, it's just really fun. It's just really fun uh, to play. And thank you, Nintendo, for making this series uh, so successful down the line. 
and all that stuff. So I thank you for that. So uh, up next, what do we have up next? Oh, um, there's a bit of a 3D Mario game. I'm going to mention like two in this episode. But um, there's a bit of a 3D Mario game. Um, so yeah, so there's a bit of a 3D Mario game that I should mention in this video. And that is... It's probably Super Mario 64. Uh, when you pop in the cartridge on your N64 or on your Nintendo Switch, um, sorry for the Nintendo Switch users because they don't have Super Mario 64 uh, like at all for the Nintendo Switch anymore on the eShop. Um, but you know you can still get it physically, but at a very expensive price. Um, and that is, you know. Super Mario 64 is pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. What makes it, you know, happy is probably going down a slide in Peach's Castle, um, going down a slide in, Peach, in Peach's Castle and all that stuff. And, that, and the music, and the music in this one really makes me happy. And it's, it just, the music and the soundtrack, it just makes me happy. It just makes me smile and all that stuff. And keep smiling while gaming, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's it's really really it's really really happy. The level design is spot on. Um, so when you're like throwing up King Pub King Bob uh, on on his back or something like that on like the you know spiral mountain type place. Um, but yeah, it's it's really really it's really really good. I mean, I highly recommend. That you play Super Mario 64 if you haven't played it before. Um, it, it's it's a really, really fun game that generates a lot of happiness, you know, from me and the whole lot of secrets that it has and all that stuff. So it's really, really good. Uh, so the next thing on our list is, is a bit of, let's just do a racer. What is the best racer that makes you happy that makes you feel like you're going on a roller coaster and i would have to say i would have to say um the best racing game that makes people happy uh is probably mario kart 8 and all that stuff mario kart 8 is basically like it's it's really it's really like I don't know what it is about it. It just, it's colorful, it's bright, it's, you know, it has very colorful, colorful tracks, and I just love it, and all that stuff, and I just love it. It makes me really, really happy every time I play it. It makes me always, like, feel competitive um, when I'm playing with my dad, or when I'm playing with my friends, or when I'm playing with my girlfriend, or family members, or something like that, so... Um, yeah, Mario Kart 8 for Switch is really, really good. Uh, I always play as Link as my playable character, but you can play as uh, uh, anyone else that's on the board, but I prefer to Link and all that stuff uh, on a motorcycle, and it just, it's really, really fun, and it just generates that roller coaster of happiness uh, right down to my, you know, right down to my heart as, you know, a racing fan and all that stuff. And it's just, it's just so perfect. It's just so perfect. It gets, I think it's going to 10 out of 10 for one of the best racing games, you know, ever and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, so it generates so much happiness in your household and all that stuff. So yeah, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is really really good um so yeah so anyways yeah so um so let's see what else there is there well one of the best paintball shooters that you can ever play that's based on you know happiness and fun and competitive uh, play on the online thing is plus is Splatoon 2. I love Splatoon 2 with its um you know with its like you know you hop into a lobby 
you uh, you spread ink on the ground and how much ink you covered. It doesn't matter how many kills you got. It matters how much you sprayed on the ground and you have to shoot walls, you have to shoot floors, you have to shoot ceilings. It is just a really fun, chaotic, you know, fun and it's it gets a little bit messy and all that stuff with those paintball guns fall, uh, like you know um flying everywhere and all that stuff and it's just one of the best and you can also hide in the ink it's like it's like hello it's like hello it's like some guy like walks uh, up like like walks doesn't even know that you're there and then you're like and you pop up for, out of your ink and all that stuff and you just like spray them and all that stuff so yeah splatoon 2 it's the best and all that stuff and plus the music is just really really hops awesome and really really happy it'll make you really really happy so yeah um it's really really cute actually so it's like uh it, it actually does <laughs> or something like that. So yeah, um so it actually is really really happy. It's a really happy happy shooter. It's a really happy shooter, so um yeah, but there's like rolls of paint that you can get. Um, you can get like rollers that just spray the ground with paint and all that stuff. And you can just, uh, you can just run over your enemies with a roller and all that stuff. So yeah, it's really, really, it's really, really fun. So it's really, really fun. So, yep. So Splatoon 2 is on the happy list. So anyways, um, let's see what else, what else is there? It also is for the Wii U, but. You know, I prefer the Switch version because it's portable and all that stuff. Uh, and it has motion controls and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, what else is there? Well, there is Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey is one of the best creative Mario games that I've ever played. And it generates happiness all the way through. It, it generates happiness all the way through. Um, so uh, it generates happiness all the way through. Um, what do I mean by that? Because it's it does some things in creative ways that no other like Mario has ever done before. Like you'll become like a spring loading beak bird that can just latch on the walls with its beak and all that stuff and it's just like really all that stuff I'm like that's creative that'll keep you smiling and all that stuff so yeah so it's it's really really fun um just trying to figure out the storyline of what happened to princess peach and bowser as they plan their wedding but Bowser is only, he's not going to get the marriage proposal from Peach and all that stuff. So, anyways, um, so, yeah, so, anyways, um, but, you know, Super Mario Odyssey is, you know, more than just a Mario game. It's just, it's something new that you need to play and all that stuff. And, you know, you might you know, here, see something around the next corner that you might not be expecting and all that stuff to make you smile and all that stuff. So it's really, really, it's really, really good and all that stuff. It's really, really good. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, um, so yeah. <clears throat> um, but the happiest game that I would have to put uh, I w but the happiest game that I would have to put um, on my list, well, well, there's also Animal Crossing and all that stuff. Animal Crossing is really, really good too. It's cute. It's really, really creative with its villagers when you talk to them and you get to know them 
and you're trying to build up your island and you can just sit out there in the sun with your switch and exact be exactly what you're doing on the island and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, you could just be sitting out there having the warm sun by the campfire and all that stuff. It's just so delightful in Animal Crossing and all that stuff. And just Animal Crossing New Horizons for Nintendo Switch. Um, it, there's just so many cool ideas like building a river, building a, uh, building a lake to fish in. It's just so, it's just so creative. In Animal Crossing. It may not be for you, but it is rewarding the creative player. And that's why I would have to put it on my happy happy thoughts list every time you pay Tom Nook his bills and all that stuff. So uh yeah, so there's lots of things going on in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you pick that one up and all that stuff. I hope you pick that one up. So, yeah, but for the happiest game, what is my happiest game that I personally recovered in a very short amount of time? I was playing a lot of rated M games at that one point, but as soon as I got into Nintendo, as soon as I got into Nintendo gaming, uh, so back on the Wii U again, I started to play this game and all that stuff. And it was really happy. It was really, really fun. It was one of the best platformers that I ever played. I played this with my girlfriend. I played this with my all my friends while I was at my, while I was at my, like, you know, party back in 2018 or 17, you know, it was really, really fun. And, you know, I hope you pick this one up on Switch and, you know, on the Wii U, that's on the Wii U and the Switch. And that is Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World is the best cat game that I've ever played in my entire life. It really brings a joy to my heart when I, every time I play this game with friends and, you know, with my, with my, uh, with my, uh, you know, uh, with Chris, uh, every time I play this with Chris, we just, we just smile and all that stuff. And I need to get this for Switch someday because it'll, you know, help me feel better after I have a, had a stressful day at the office you know, stuff like that, or a stressful day at work, or anything like that, or just anything in between. I just need to get that Super Mario Cat Fix, or something like that. That Super Mario Cat Fix, you know, that stuff. So, yeah, it's it was really, really fun uh, when I first played it. And it's a really good Mario game that should get it a lot of love and a lot of chance and there's bowser's fury and all that stuff so yeah so it's really really it's really really fun so what's my time uh yeah 10 so 3 333 so i award super mario 3d all 3d 3d world plus bowser's fury um i award super mario 3d world plus bowser's fury a perfect 100% happiness, silliness, and all that stuff in between as the happiest video game that you can ever play by Nintendo and all that stuff. So, we got a winner. <laughs> we got a winner. Woo! Yeah, plus I love my cat, plus I love my cat, Billy, and all that stuff. So, uh, I love my cat Billy and all that stuff and you know he sits on my lap every day and he sits on my lap every day in my bed and all that stuff so he just you know he loves kisses he loves kisses and all that stuff and he loves to lick you and all that stuff even though that sounds a little weird and actually it's really really good it actually provides really really good therapy and all that stuff so yeah so yeah so 
It's like a cat looking in your face. It's like, oh, isn't that weird? I'm like, uh, no. So, anyways. <laughs> yes, Mario be Mario becoming a cat. So, Mario becoming a cat. And he looks like my previous cat, JoJo and all that stuff. And, you know. Uh, so you dress up as a cat suit and all that stuff. So it's really, really good. So, yeah. I I love it. I love Super Mario 3D World. So it's the best. So go ahead, go ahead and play it and all that stuff. Go ahead and play it for the Wii U. Play it for the Switch and all that stuff. So, you know, yeah. Just, you know, just have fun with it. So have fun. So, yeah. So, yeah, I hope this list, I hope this list helped you. I hope this list helped you in somewhat shape or form. Uh, but I think one of the best storyline, but I think one of the best storyline, storytelling games that kind of really makes me happy in some ways is Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. I mean, I have a copy. I have a copy on the Wii U. I have a physical copy, I'm a phys and I have a digital copy on the Wii U. So I'm all Paper Mario'd up. And Paper Mario is one of the best storytelling in any video game, period. Uh, it's charm. It's, it's, it has good storytelling. What's get, what storytelling makes you happy in a video game? And that's, for me, it's Paper Mario and all that stuff. It's, it's really, really good. Uh, but Paper Mario Color Splash, I don't think it had, you know, a good thing. I played Paper Mario, I played Paper Mario, well, Super Paper Mario is a little dark. Super Paper Mario is a little dark. But, you know, Paper Mario on the N64 is really good. You know, it makes people, like, wonder and, you know, uh, the charm from the, paper cutouts that we all know and love and all that stuff and you know it's it's good and all that stuff so that's another recommendation for great storytelling in a video game paper mario check it out and all that stuff so yeah one of the greatest platformers that you can ever play too is super mario world super mario world has great music great level design and it's fast run and jump gameplay it's just really really fun and all that stuff and you know it's it was one of the games that mainly made me happy about platformers and all that stuff so yeah super mario world check it out so yep all right that ends it for this video and uh so yeah let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite happy video game or what is your favorite you know what is your favorite happy video game and all that stuff? So let me know in the comments down below. And when you, if you like what you see more, click uh, click white light right here to see more and all that stuff on this channel and all that stuff. What I produce, you know, every day, every week, every month, and all that stuff uh, in my busy schedule going forward and all that stuff. So, anyways, YouTubers, have a fantastic day. Keep smiling while gaming. And all that stuff. And I'll see you guys all later in the next episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. Have a fantastic day, YouTubers. Alright. See ya.